morning students today we will discuss english grammar chapter 4 adjectives few parts of adjective we have already discussed in our previous class of grammar and today we will move with more two topics more two topics chapter 4 adjectives okay now see today we will first discuss adjectives with infinitives adjective with infinitives some adjectives take an infinitive after them adjectives followed by the two infinitive here are i have given few words which will be helpful for you when you will complete your exercise related to adjective with infinitives now see what are the rules and when i will explain you with the example then the this topic will be clear to you here rule is adjective plus two plus verb what is the rule adjective plus two plus verb now see the examples example i am a proud to announce this year's winner here proud is a adjective followed with to and announce is a verb next the little boy was afraid to jump afraid is a adjective followed with to and jump is a verb he was ashamed to speak to her again ashamed is an adjective followed with to and speak is a verb similarly the other two example we were happy to see you happy is an adjective followed with to and see is a verb i am sorry to disturb you sorry is an adjective followed with to and disturb is a verb like this you have to complete your exercise what is given here in page number 29 students this complete the sentence with an adjective and a infinite infinity infinity after it means with the infinitives you have to fill it it is easy to learn english easy is adjective followed with to learn is a verb now jagan was happy to see me happy is adjective followed with to and see as a verb it is given like this you have to complete your this page number 29 question number 8 now next topic is our adjectives of number and adjectives of quantity see first two examples how many pencils are there in the box how much water is there in the bottle adjective of number if we will discuss answer the question how many like here we are asking how many pencils and adjective of quantity answer the question how much here we are asking how much few more examples how many children went to the zoo how much sugar should i put in your tea how much cloth is needed to make the shirt how many clothes did you iron see students here the words we can count like children and clothes children and clothes these are countable noun so we are keeping here many sugar and cloth is uncountable noun so we are keeping here much 
Hope it is clear. Now see. Adjective of number. There are seven days in a week. You have to score hundred runs to make a century. Names of the names of three months of the year begin with J. See students here what we have filled all is the number related words like seven, hundred, three all are numbers. So adjective of number tell us about the number of nouns or a pronouns. What adjective of numbers tells us about the number of nouns or a pronoun and they are used with the countable noun. They are used with countable noun. Now see some more. All children should go to school. Do most children like going to school? Many children never go to school. Several children use the school bus. Words like all, most, many, several are also adjective of number. We do not get exact number by, by words are also give answers how many. From these words, almost, many, several, we not getting the exact number. But these, these words also give answers how many. So, they are adjective of number 2. Next, adjectives of quantity. Tell us about the amount of nouns or pronouns. They are used with uncountable nouns. Now, what type of a words we have to use in adjective of a quantity? Like any, enough, little, much, some, whole are examples of adjective of quantity. Here are some examples. There is some tea in the pot. Some is there adjective of quantity. They did not get much time to prepare for the test. Much is a adjective of quantity. Do we have enough money for the tickets? Here enough is also a adjective of quantity. Now see. Are there any children in the library? Is there any sugar in the bowl? There are some toffees in the jar. There is some rice in the bowl. Word like any, no, some, sufficient are adjectives which we can use with countable as well as uncountable nouns. So, that's why you can see here in this example, children are coming in the group of a countable noun. Then, then we have used here any. Sugar is uncountable noun. Then also we have used here any. Toffees we can count but we have used here some and rice is uncountable noun. So, here we also use the some. So, some words like any, no, some, sufficient, this type of a words we can use with a countable as well as uncountable nouns. These adjectives we can use with them also. On the basis of today's two topic, the adjective of infinitives, this adjectives of infinitives, you will do this exercise. Question number 8, page number 29, up to question number 10. Then here, adjective of quantity and number. Here are question number 9, page number 30. You have to complete today up to this. Tomorrow, we will discuss positive adjectives and 
adjectives, degree of comparisons. Afterwards, your this chapter will be over. Hope you will do your homework. Till then, goodbye.